Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to my homestead allotment channel. I hope to do a series of vlogs documenting my growing year and how I get on. Whether it's good or bad, I will document it and hopefully get feedback from you on how I could do things better. Now I started this plot back in January of 2020 and in that year had some great success. But unfortunately a change of job meant that I couldn't put the time in that I wanted and the allotment got neglected for a year. But with a change of job again and more time on my hands I've decided to get the plot back up and running again and document it as I go. So hopefully you'll come along for the journey, see the good and the bad as we grow through the year. As you can see, after a year of not being cultivated, the plots reverted back to the wilderness you see before you. So I'm just taking the time now to de-weed it, which is pretty easy because the soil condition is pretty good, even though it's not been grown on for a year. Now if you go back to the first video that I've posted on YouTube, the beginning of my homestead allotment, it will run you through a series of photos that I took back in 2020 on how I started my allotment. Basically my plot is 15 feet by 18 feet and I've got a 8 foot by 12 foot greenhouse. I started by digging over the ground, pulling out all the weeds and roots and then covering the ground with a layer of horse manure and leaving it to sit for three months. I then roughly dug the manure back into the ground um, and then marked out my beds. I managed to fit four 30 inch beds and a 40 inch bed at the end with 12 inch pathways in between. These beds were 15 feet long. I also managed to secure a large amount of used compost. A good three to four inches of this used compost was added and just started to grow straight into it. Cardboard was laid down in the paths and a mulch of wood chips was put down to suppress any weeds. Now I know not entirely no dig to begin with but moving forwards I intend not to dig this plot over again and just continue to add a layer of compost two to three inches each year and continue growing in the beds. Now, because I'm using my phone to do these videos at the moment and I live so close to a main road, the noise pollution is pretty bad. So I've ordered a wireless microphone. Hopefully I won't have to do these voiceovers on here for very much longer. Now this 40 inch bed's the last one that I had to weed and by far had the worst amount of weeds in it. 
with cooch grass and stinging nettles. But because of the condition of the soil, I managed to pull the majority of the roots out. And with a good two to three inches mulch on top this year, that should suppress any weed roots that I've missed. I know this looks a time consuming and laborious job, but I feel pulling the weeds out by hand is better than digging over the soil and disturbing the ground. Now here's the plot, generally weed free and ready for a layer of compost. Now all I've got to do is put string lines up from the pegs at the end of the bed to mark out the sides of the beds so I can add two to three inches of compost, part of which is in the compost bin at the back there and the other part will be the used compost that I can get hold of. Now these are my two compost bins and that's all of the weeds that have come out of the beds. And this is compost that has been sitting for two years now. Looks pretty good stuff. This is made out of grass cuttings and weeds from a couple of years ago. And this compost will probably go on the 40 inch bed where I'll have French beans and squashes growing. All I've got to do now is secure a load of wood chips for the paths and we should be good to go. Now moving on up to my carrot bed and this will still need to be weeded and topped up with sieved compost ready for the next sowing of carrots. This is my greenhouse um, the glass needs cleaning but it's all weed free this will be topped up with compost in here and within the next week I'll be building a hotbed in the back of the greenhouse so hopefully this will keep the overnight temperatures above zero and I can start sowing some seeds a bit earlier thanks for watching and I'll be releasing more videos soon